couch dogs me with lessons Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle arrangement lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. And this time, by popular demand, everybody's favorite Disney song, I'll Make a Man Out of You. I'm actually partial to Under the Sea, but I have arranged that years and years ago, and this is my second favorite. But you don't care about what I think, you want to learn that. So first I'm going to play it for you so you can see how it goes. And then we're going to break it down lick by lick, note by note, chord by chord, with tabs right here on the screen as usual. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this one, so uh, it goes like this. Enjoy. So uh, you have the verse with two different endings, you have the bridge, and then you have the chorus. So this is a really, really powerful song. Uh, you start with E minor, and you start with the bass, actually. You start with the sixth string. And then you have strings one and two, okay? Open. And then you put on uh, D over F sharp chord, which is three and two on strings, two and three, with two on the sixth string. Okay, I use my thumb for that. You can use your index finger. Okay, and you can play the whole chord, and then, okay, two on the third string. Or you can play strings two and six, and then the third. Okay, so you get this. Okay, you can play the whole chord anytime, basically. You just, the trick is to play it as the first note. Okay, and then the second note is another melody note. Then, okay, you can play the chord again as the first uh, note of the over F sharp. You get the idea? And then the same thing with G. Okay, it's 0, 3 on the second string with the G chord. And again, you can play the whole chord, strings 2, 3, 4, and 6. And then the three on the second string, and then the melody note is inside the chord. So, you see? Or you can play it as single notes. Okay? Any way you see fit, any way that fits your own style. Okay? I say try them both and see what you like. And then you have D over F sharp again. And then um, um, A minor, but it's a little bit different. You don't uh, you don't play three on the second string. You play okay, the D over F sharp uh, chord with strings three, four, and six. You don't play the second string, and then you play the open second string. So you have time to move to A minor. Okay, and then it's one on the second string with A with the fifth string or the whole chord strings two, three, four, and five. So it's Right? And then it's three on the second string, leading you back to D over F sharp against strings three, four, and six. So D over F sharp, A minor, okay, and then back to D over F sharp from the high note. Right? This is a brilliant, brilliant composition, this one. 
Uh, well, but I don't have to tell you that Alan Menken is a genius. Uh, then you play the first uh, two, um, two lines again, but instead of finishing on okay, this, you just play okay, 3-3 three, three on the second string, the second time with D. Okay, now, this time I don't play the F-sharp bass, okay? uh, because I want to give it a slightly different flavor. Okay, the first ending is this. Okay, a low note, and then it's a high note, so okay, I just use the thin D chord, strings 2, 3, and 4. Okay? Put on a D chord and just play strings 2, 3, and 4. Okay? Okay, 3 on the second string and then the chord. So you get this. Okay? You get a high ending, uh, as opposed to the low ending, first one. Then you have C, okay? but you build up to the C chord. Okay? So it's three on the fifth string and then the open fourth and then the two, two, two on the fourth inside the chord. So you play the bass again. Okay, something like a little bit, a little bit off. Sorry. All right. Okay, you can vibrate. Okay, or you can play the chord. Travis picking a little bit, but you, you really don't have to. And then you have, okay, two pull up to zero on the third string, and then four and five on strings four and five, which is a D chord head. Okay, it's still D, it's back to D. Okay, and then you have, okay, you have a hammer on to two on the third string, or you can just play zero two. Okay, so, I like to hammer on, and then it's the open second string with G. So again, strings two, three, four, and six with three on the sixth string. Hey, you wanted to sit here like this. Uh, he wants to, you know, he wants to perform in front of a camera. Um, so it's just gonna be funny. Um, and then, okay, it's one zero on the second string. You can pull off, and then the open D string. And then the C chord head again, two and three on strings, uh, four and five. So you get G, okay, and then uh, C uh, chord, C chord head. And then, okay, it's the same move, but this time with the third string when you play the C chord head. So you get a different expression with the same, exact same chord. So it's one zero on the second string again. Um, and then the third string with the C chord head. Um, okay, so you get strings three, four, and five, but something still sounds off to me. Might be just my ear. Uh, so it's, okay, and then you have, okay, you're on C, you play two on the fourth, okay, it's in the chord, you just played it, and then the open second string, and then the D5, okay, the, the thin uh, D head. Okay, not this one, but this one. Two and zero on strings three and four, which is inside a normal D chord. Then you have the first ending. The first ending is the open third string, and then, okay, which is uh, four, four slide to two on the fourth with the E bass. Okay, you can play the E bass after you slide. Okay, or with the slide, which is really nice. Okay, you play the bass when you slide. That's that's really uh, that creates a really interesting effect. Uh, the second ending is okay or okay. It's zero three on the second string and then E minor. You can slide to five on the second string and harmonize with the first string and create a bluesy line, okay? A bluesy color. Um, or you can play the zero three on the second string and then just E minor, strings one, two, three, and six. Okay, so um, let's play it from C. And C, C again, D, and then E minor. And after you slide, okay, you can uh, arpeggiate. Okay, you can uh, fill in the space. 
Um, and then the second time it's... Uh, and then... Okay, e minor. Again, you can arpeggiate any way you feel like any way you, your fingers want to play it at the moment. Then you have the bridge, um, or the pre-chorus, or verse 2, the name doesn't matter. Uh, it's C, and now it's a rhythm change, so it might feel a little bit awkward when you have to do it. I know that it feels awkward to me when I have to play it. Um, so... Okay, it's... Now, there are several ways to do this, several ways to play this. It's the C chord head, you play the fifth string, and then you play the third string, harmonized by the fourth, um, and you play it um, quickly. And then you have to play the D chord head, four and five on four and five. Okay, so I just play the last third string with five on the fifth, and then I play the D chord head twice. So. It's, it's a little bit awkward, but you'll get used to it. I'll make a guitar player out of you. <laughs> and then uh, you put a bar on four with six on the fifth string, and you play strings four and five. Okay. This is actually B, a B chord. Okay. This is a B chord over D sharp. This is B. Okay. It's B with the D sharp as the, the bass note. Um, Okay, which creates a really interesting tension. It sounds like kind of like a seventh or an augmented chord. Um, okay, and then okay, four two on the third string. So it's four four on the fourth with six on the fifth, and then you can slide down from four to two on the third, and then okay, two pull off the zero on the third with the E bass. This is again E minor, and then you have this. D over F sharp again, and you play the chord strings 3, 4, and 6, and then strings 3, 2, 3. And then you have G with 1, 0 on the second string, 2, 0 on the third, and then C with the third string. So it's uh, strings uh, 3 and 5, or 3, 4, and 5. And then you have this. Okay, still C. And you play uh, strings four and five, and then four, two, four. And then you take this two frets up to D, and you play okay, strings two and five again, and then four, four. So it's, okay, it's the easiest way to play this line. And then you have Mulan's line. Okay. So it's six again on the fifth string. Uh, again, it's uh, the go, go. You can go. Um, where? And then um, it's it's a slide. So it's six on the fifth string. It's the B over D sharp. Um, and then you play it with seven seven on the second string. Wow, go go. No, you want to stay? Come on, stay. She wants to be paid for her work. All right. Um, so, okay, 7-7 seven, seven on the 2nd string with 6 on the 5th, and then, okay, 7-5, and then 5 slide to 3 uh, with E minor, with strings uh, 2 and 3 open, and the 6th string. Come on, you're distracting me, come on, stay, just stay here. Um, okay, that's the line. And then you have the D over F sharp G again. But instead of the third string with C, you play the first string. Okay? You can play strings one, two, three, and five. Okay? One, two, three, and five with C. So it's the same line. But instead of this, you play the high E string. Okay? Strings one, two, three, and five. Just the C chord. And that's the bridge. Okay? So again, C. Okay, D, and then B over D sharp, E minor, and then the D over F sharp, G, C. So you're still trying to get my attention, I'm sorry. And then C, D, and then B over uh, D sharp, uh, sorry, A, E minor, and then D over F sharp and G, and then C. 
and then immediately, right? You take the C chord head from two to two and three on four and five to four and five. And then back to two and three, and you play strings three, four, five, and six. Okay, this is drama. This is dramatic. This is C over E. Okay, this is a serious chord. And then you, you play the third string three times. Okay, you can harmonize with the fourth. And then D over F sharp. Okay, you play strings three and six on two, and then the open D string twice. And then you have G again with one and zero on the second. And then you have this. Okay? It's two, four, five on strings three, four, and five. This is D. Okay? And then the open third string, and then C over E again. Okay? And then it's the same uh, D over F sharp line. Then you have, um, okay, it's B over D again. It's this again, but here, because it's an arrangement. Uh, it's one and one on strings two and four, and you play them together, and then you open the second string, and then you have this, okay? You have uh, E minor, but I play two and two on strings three and four with the sixth string, and then I open the third string, and then it's C over E again. Right? Strings 6, 5, 4, and 3. And then I play the same line. And then this again. Okay, the B uh, over D sharp E minor line again. And then C over E. Okay? And then um, I lost my place. So it's C over E, and then you have the, the third string twice, and then the second string open, and then okay, we're close to the end here. Uh, it's 2 0 on the third string with D over F sharp. So it's 3, 4, and 6. Okay, so it's. Okay, and then slide to 4 on the fourth and 3 on the second, which is. Still D. Yeah, it's still it's still D. So and then okay, it's E sus four, which is two 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 on strings five four and three. Okay, with all the rest of the strings. So it's um it's E sus four and and then I uh, just resolve it to E major. And then you can go back to the beginning. So the chorus, C, uh, C and D, C over E, D over F sharp, G, D, C over E, okay, the D sharp bass. D over F sharp, D harmony, Us for to E. The tab is for free. The link is below in the description. Go download it. It's yours if you want it. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There are tons of lessons, including Disney songs and cartoon openers and TV openers and movie themes and whatnot. And um, uh, just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of lessons. Just check the playlist. And I welcome you here. Um, thank you for joining me and subscribe to the channel and uh, again the tab is for free go grab it uh, from the website the link is below in the description and you'll also find a patreon link if you want to give anything back i'd be more than grateful for you i thank you in advance for it and um i um just want to let you know that everything goes right back into like reference into making these arrangements uh, making your lesson your free guitar education uh, if you choose to support uh, my endeavor with lick and riff um, then thank you so much uh, even if you don't, just stay here and watch the videos and I'm happy to have you here. So thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Go play this. Enjoy.